Okay, so now you've seen a light comparison, watch my other video if you haven't seen it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up on my videos and share my videos around on YouTube, guys. I've mounted the King's 7-inch laser driving lights up on my car. Going to take it for a bit of a drive. Make sure you watch to the end of this video to see which lights I decide to put on my car. It'll be either these ones or the 7-inch Lethal, King's Lethal lights. I'm taking the eBay cheap ones off. They've got not as bright light. If you watch my other video, you'll notice that. But it's a toss-up between these ones and the Lethals. So check out the video. We'll see what happens. Now, the King's laser LED lights, I really like the way they look on the car with the, the crystal sort of lens where you can't see all the single LEDs. They fit nicely in the bull bar and look really stylish. When they're on the road, I do like the colour temperature of these lights. I find them a little bit warmer. Uh, you can probably see in the video here that it's, it's a warmer, slightly more orange colour and that gives me personally less eye stress now right there you can see that when it hits the road signs it glares back at you very very brightly this is because these lights are very highly focused and you can see on the road there you can see the two orange colored spots with a rainbow around them now i couldn't no matter how hard i tried get these things lined up so that you couldn't see them and they weren't staring you in the face as you go around on the trees there, you can see the spots. And now, uh, it's about the size of a dinner plate, possibly a little bit larger depending on distance. And I actually find them fairly distracting. It means that when they hit the road signs, they glare back at you. Now, on the left of the road here, there's a kangaroo. There it is. Now, because they're such a, a focused spot... They don't have as wide a beam as some other spotlights. And you can see the two really intense spotlights there. So when you're driving on a close road like this one, it becomes fairly distracting and hard to drive with. And I found it very intense. And even on this short drive, I was actually starting to get a bit of a headache. You can see here on the shed how intense those two dots are. The camera is not doing justice to just how bright they are, but imagine driving with this on the road constantly in front of you. Those two spots are very intense. In mounting the King's Lethal LED driving lights, I found that they are actually physically taller than the laser driving lights. You can see here, it's actually a whole lot lower than the Lethal. It sits up. So you'll need to keep that in mind. The other thing is that mounted on the front of the car, the lethal lights, even though they're seven inch, are a bigger fitting than the lasers. You can see the lasers here on my right, lethals on the left. Something to keep in mind when you are ordering or planning to mount these lights. The lethals sit higher than the lasers. Okay, so the other night I went out for a drive with the King seven inch laser LEDs. You've seen the footage on that. I've now mounted the King's 7 inch lethal LEDs on my bull bar here. We'll take for a bit of a drive. You can see the comparison of the lights in real time driving, what you're going to get if you put these lights on your car. Then we'll get the big unveiling of which lights I decide to keep on my car. Now doing the same drive with the King's 7 inch lethal driving lights. You straight up, you can notice that the color temperature is slightly cooler. It is warmer than the eBay lights that I have had on there, so not as much eye strain for me personally. Now, coming up on the road signs, you still get that reflection glare back off the road signs, but it's not as intense on your eyes. The camera does pick it up fairly strong there. It's not quite as intense on your eyes as the 7-inch laser driving lights. Now, you can probably already tell that these lights are throwing as far up the road as the 7-inch lasers. They give you a good wide spread, but coming around there on the trees, you have a much softer, less intense spot beam. Um, I actually really like this. It's easier on my eyes personally. Um, 
Coming up, this is the second night that I took these out for a drive, and you'll see the kangaroos coming up. You can see the flash on the sign there again. Um, the 7-inch laser driving lights actually give you a bit of a broader spread, so you can see the kangaroos a bit more easy. There they are there. Now, I found these lights a lot easier to aim uh, without having the spots straight on the ground or shooting up in trees, spotting koalas. Having the softer beam makes it a lot easier for you to aim these lights. Now you'll see when we get onto the smaller road here, having not such an intense beam in front of you, it won't give you the same headache as the real small intense spot. Um, my eye strain was not as bad driving with these lights. I actually found them quite good even though they did still reflect back off the road signs. But I think you're going to get that with any driving light and a highly reflective road sign. Now you can see here on the shed that they tend to just um, glare out with the camera there. The camera doesn't pick them up very good. But the, the spot is a lot softer edged. It doesn't give you those rainbows and it is a much larger diameter on the shed. Okay, let's jump to a bit of side-by-side -side footage. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole drive here. This little bit of footage is just so that you can see the width comparison, the colour variation difference between the two lights. We have the King 7-inch lethal driving lights on the top and the King 7-inch laser driving lights on the bottom. Now straight away you can see those two rainbows out the front bouncing around like a pair of ping pong balls being quite distracting. You can see that the colour temperature is slightly warmer on the 7 inch lasers down the bottom and it's slightly cooler on the top but it's, it's neither here nor there. Both these lights are an amazing pair of driving lights and are going to enable you to see a great distance in front of your car. It's going to come down to the type of driving that you are doing. If you were on a road that has a lot of bends and trees on each side, the King 7 inch lethal driving lights may be a better option. If you are in Outback Australia where you have dead, straight, long, flat roads, then the King 7 inch laser driving lights may be a good option. However, you will need something to fill in the sides there if there are kangaroos around. It does leave a lot to think about. Anyway, let's get on with the big reveal and we'll see which lights I went with. Okay, so I'm here. I've got the lights mounted here on my car that I'm going to use. Out of the laser, the King's Laser, the King's Lethal and my eBay ones out of my previous video. Now I've shown you some footage already of the lights under driving conditions and um, I know you're all waiting for the big reveal. So here we go, three, two, one, ta-da. And you probably already worked out that I decided to go with the King's Lethal 7-inch driving lights. Now the reason that I chose this, although I like the color temperature, a little bit warmer on your eyes, the lasers, I just couldn't get over the two dinner plate sized spots right out in front of you. Um, driving on the road, wherever you go, up and down, I found it very distracting. Now for a dead straight road, dead flat, they would be an amazing light. They produce the the distance that they say they would, they're a phenomenal light, but the King's lethal driving lights are what I have decided to mount on my car. I don't get the same glare, intense glare from the spots when they hit a road sign. They project as far up the road as I need to see, which is an amazing distance still. The colour temperature on them is a little cooler than I would like. Uh, it does cause a little bit of strain on my eyes, but guys, King's Lethal Driving Lights, an amazing light, pretty much nearly indestructible, mount firm. That is what I have gone with on my 80 series Land Cruiser. I've gone out there, spent the money so you guys don't have to. Hope you've enjoyed the comparison video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you around on YouTube and get out there for all driving.